So has Nintendo had a pricing issue with their games? Well, there's been a little bit of controversy going on today as I'm recording this video. I hate that I gotta make this video, but I feel like I should. Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. The game is coming back for the Nintendo Switch in January of next year. Now, the controversy is the game's gonna be $60. Nintendo confirmed this, I think earlier today, maybe yesterday, I don't know, that the game was gonna be a $60 title. For me, I just say the best thing to say, vote with your wallet. And I say this because, well, it's your money. Yes, $60 for a port from the Wii, whatever, it's kinda, I don't know if I agree with it, but again, vote with your wallets. For me personally, I think that Metroid Prime Remastered, for instance, it was $40, really great price. I think that when it comes to Nintendo's first party titles, I think that remasters should be 40 bucks. I think if it's a remake, like a fully blown remake from the ground up, probably in the $50 range, uh, because it costs a little bit more to make it because it's a full on remake, not just a remaster or a port per se. And then brand new games as of right now are 60. I think on the next Nintendo console, they're going to be $70. Now I've never played Donkey Kong Country Returns, so I don't have much of a say on the matter, but I do know, also if you hear the dog in the background, don't worry about her. I do know that it has all of the 3DS levels in it as well, which, I mean, that's cool. You get more content out of it. I know you can just go buy the 3DS version, but that's not really the same because you're playing on a 3DS, a small screen, you know? You could go back and just play the Wii version, which doesn't have the 3DS levels. That's fine too. You don't get as much content, but that's fine too. But the controversy about this, I hate to see people arguing about it, you know? I really do. I think it's uh, it's it's a bummer because I really think it's just a matter of voting with your wallet. You know, whether you want to buy it or not is it, it I don't think it really matters, you know? It's your money. Now, I get it though. I get it. The game it probably shouldn't be 60. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door was a $60 game, but it was a full remake from the ground up, and like I said, remakes cost a little bit more I would think I would assume I, I don't know I don't work at Nintendo I just would assume re fully remaking something versus remastering something with slightly better graphics would cost a lot more would cost a bit more money at least a bit more money to fully remake something from the ground up versus even especially that game had new music and everything whereas Donkey Kong Country Returns HD everything is the same thing but with updated HD graphics you know what I'm saying so what I'm saying is that that makes more sense to me why it shouldn't be $60 because it just being an HD port. Now, this makes me wonder if Zelda, let's say Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD came to the Switch. It makes me wonder if they would sell them separately, $60 a piece, or both of them together as a bundle for 60, or maybe even 80. I think it would be smart if Nintendo were to actually port those games, which I don't know if they're ever going to, but if they were to, I think like $80 for both would have been a very fair price. That's just me, that's what I think, because these are older games, you know? They're not brand new games that we're playing. So I have no issues with paying certain prices for certain things. Me personally, I think also, if you have not played Donkey Kong Country Returns, I think paying the 60 might be a good idea. You know, it's a brand new experience for you. Pretty long game, lots to do, lots of extra levels from the 3DS version, and more content in there, and, and especially if you go for 100% run, that's gonna take you a while. So, for me, I'm gonna probably get it because I might have it on 3DS, I keep forgetting to look. I swear I might have bought that game for like a really cheap price on 3DS. But I never got around to really playing it. So, if I do have it, I'm just going to wait for the Switch version. I, I honestly don't I don't think that I have it, to be honest. I might have got it for cheap if I do. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, if you've never played it before, I think it might be worth the $60 price for the Switch because... It's a brand new experience for you. If you have played it before, 
don't pay the $60 for it. Unless you really, really, really want to, you know, like I said, it's your decision. Uh, because I know some people will, for sure. Because the thing is, is the Switch is, it, it's better hardware for playing it, you know, and maybe you want to play an upgraded, updated version of it, or you want to play it on a bigger handheld screen or something, you know, there's different reasons on why you would want to play this game. Now, I'm personally going to be buying it probably at the $60 price tag only because I've never played the game before and I think that like Tropical Freeze when it came to the Switch, I loved the game and I thought it was worth the price. Some people, I'd say, wait for a sale, you know? But I do think it realistically should be probably a $40 title. But I'm not going to be mad over it being $60. I don't think you should be mad over it being the price it is should you be surprised no why would you be surprised over it being sixty dollars it's nintendo i mean the majority of nintendo first party titles are sixty dollars metroid primary master was 40 surprisingly actually it might have been cheaper than that uh the digital i think might have been cheaper i don't remember um i got it physical and i think it was 40 um but I i'm just making a point and this is why i'm making this video is that just vote with your wallet. Don't get angry at people over this, as I've seen. And I just say, if you haven't played it before, maybe it's worth a 60 to you. If not, then probably not worth that money at all. For me, I'm going to get it. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have fun. I'm going to have a good time on, uh, with it on Switch. I just think the, the whole Nintendo pricing controversy goes a little too out of hand. It's Nintendo, guys. Come on, are we really surprised? Nintendo's selling, like, Smash Ultimate and Zelda Breath of the Wild, which came out seven plus years ago, still for $60 when it's not on sale. Like, it's, and you can find used copies, but they're like 45, 50 bucks still, you know? Like, half the time, unless it's like during a holiday season or something. Like, they're still worth, they still cost so much money. Like, I know friends who are like, these Nintendo games still cost just too much dang money, you know? So, Sometimes you just gotta wait for sales. And it sucks that Nintendo, even their used games are so expensive, it's like $40 or more. But that's just Nintendo. I don't know what it is about Nintendo and their pricings. That's just how they do things. So I I just had to talk about this some because other people are talking about it. I figured, all right, I'll make a video on it because it's an interesting topic to talk about. The controversy with Nintendo's pricings, I just think it's an interesting topic. You know, I'm not going to be mad at someone over thinking it should be cheaper or whatever. I'm not mad over anyone who's going to buy it at full price because knowing me, I'm probably going to because I never have experienced Hong Kong Country Returns. And I figured I might as well wait for the HD version then, you know, because I don't think I have it on 3DS. If I do, whatever. It's on the 3DS. This version will be better. So I might as well just wait for it, you know. I'm going to enjoy it. I don't think anything else is releasing in January. So as of right now that we know of, so I don't see why not, you know. And I think that if you've never played it, pay for it for 60 But you don't have to. I mean, it's your money. Why Why would you be so angry? I don't think anyone really should be, like, super angry over it. We don't work at Nintendo. So we don't know why they make these decisions. We don't know their profits, their profit shares and all that. We don't know what's going on over there. We don't know why they make the decisions that they make. To me, yes, it should be a $40 title. I think remake I think remaster ports should be probably forty dollars fifty at the very most but it's not so we just gotta live with it you know so anyways that's just my thoughts on the matter for this Donkey Kong Country Returns HD coming out on Nintendo Switch in January I th this topic has really come up today with a lot of people so I don't know if this is gonna be uploaded tonight or not but I had to talk about it because it was a, a, just a big thing people were talking about and arguing about and this and that. So I figured I, I might as well talk about it a little bit. Let me know in the comments below if you're getting the game at full price when it comes out. Are you going to wait for a sale? Do you really agree with the games being $60 when they're kind of just an HD port? Or do you think they should be $40, maybe $50? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Be nice down there, anyone who comments. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you